Many of the processes in the human body are coordinated by nervous and hormonal control. In our previous animation, we discussed nervous control, that it can occur both voluntarily and involuntarily. The message is electrical in nature, which is conducted by neurons and are brought to muscles and glands. The response is rapid, short-term and localized in the body. The hormonal control is involuntary. The message is chemical in nature, which is conducted by our bloodstream and carried all over the body, except some organs. The response is slow, long-lasting and generalized in the body. As hormones are long-lived, they are destroyed by the liver to a less active compound and excreted by the kidneys. The endocrine system. The endocrine system is the set of glands that produce hormones to control mood, metabolism, growth and development, tissue function, sexual function, reproduction and sleep, among other things. The hormones secreted by the endocrine glands fall under the endocrine system. The special thing about the endocrine glands is that they are ductless. Therefore, the hormones are released directly to the bloodstream. The hormones are secreted in minute concentrations, which some hormones are target-specific, but some others are more generalized in their actions. The endocrine system consists of pituitary, thyroid, adrenal, pancreas, testes, and ovaries. Pituitary gland, also known as the master gland, it produces growth hormone, antidiuretic hormone, gonad-stimulating hormone, and thyroid-stimulating hormone. The growth hormone acts on any cell in the body and helps it grow. The antidiuretic hormone acts on our kidneys to promote reabsorption of water. The gonad-stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, or LH and follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, acts on testes and ovaries and stimulates the gonads to secrete sex hormones. The thyroid-stimulating hormone acts on the thyroid gland and stimulates it to secrete thyroxine. The thyroxine acts on our tissue cell to control our metabolic rate. Adrenal. The adrenal gland produces adrenaline. The adrenaline hormone acts on our liver, heart, skin, lungs, and alimentary canal to prepare the body for fight or flight reaction. Pancreas. The pancreas releases two types of hormones that you probably have heard of somewhere in your life, as its deficiency causes one of the most common diseases in the world. Yes, the pancreas produces glucagon and insulin. Glucagon and insulin help regulate blood glucose. Glucagon acts on tissue cells and the liver to regulate the conversion of glycogen to glucose when the blood sugar level is low. Insulin does this by signaling the liver, muscle and fat cells to take glucose from the blood. By doing this, insulin facilitates glucose absorption to be used for energy. If the body has sufficient energy, insulin signals the liver to take up glucose and store it as glycogen. The deficiency of insulin causes diabetes. Testes. Testes produces testosterone. The hormone acts on testes and other body cells to develop primary and secondary sex characteristics in males. Ovaries. Ovaries produce two types of hormones, estrogen and progesterone. The estrogen acts on the uterus and the ovary to regulate the growth of uterus walls. The progesterone acts on the body cells for the development of secondary sex characteristics in females. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.